And eventually, eventually, you're going to get it. I mean, these politicians are getting it. You're going to eventually get it. And here's the punchline. You think, oh, well, I'll just quarantine. That's what all these other people thought. That's dead now. That's what'll get you. That's the trick. That, that's the dark trick that'll get you. That's the dark trick that'll get you. You think, oh, I'll just quarantine. See, that's what people were doing in the beginning. With the first original COVID-19 strain, everybody was um, quarantining for like two weeks, 14 days, and it would go away. These new strains, man, they're not getting a chance. They're different. You got to update yourself to the situation. Because what you're thinking, a lot, I, know, I think some of these anti-vax people are thinking, oh, I'll just quarantine when it comes. If I get it, I'll just quarantine. That's the that's the original strain. That's what they were doing with the original strain. Now, these other strains that are more contagious and everything, these people don't got a chance to quarantine. All these people that's dying, unvaccinated, they probably thought they would be able to vaccine, uh, quarantine. They didn't get a chance. They did not get a chance to quarantine. Obviously not. So what does that tell you? Not being a simpleton, what does that tell you? That you could just get it and die. You ain't going to get the chance to uh, va- uh, quarantine. So that means you could just get it, go into a store somewhere, go somewhere and be dead. That's what that means now. Right now. I don't know. 2020, it was different. We had one strain. Right now, you could go get it if you're unvaccinated and you're not going to have an opportunity to quarantine. You're going to, you could get it and die. And that's it. And it's over. Right now, you can step out your door right now, go somewhere and get COVID and die. It's that simple. So with that in mind, how long are you going to d- dance and dodgeball with COVID-19? How long are you going to do it? And that's where I came to the conclusion. You, you, you can't outrun this thing. You can't. You can't. And you can't predict it because even if it's not really in your city, it's still here, which means you still can get it. So what if it's not, oh, uh, it's not an epic center, but you still can go outside and die. You still can go outside and get it. You still can go out there and, 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 and it's over. That's what I'm saying. You, you better stop following them them 20-year-old kids out there. That then took their mask off and, 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 and letting it all hang out again. You better stop falling behind them. Because, man, it's still out here. And so if I'm thinking like this, how are you how you think godless, uncompassionate people are thinking right now? They have no love for you. Half of them racist. You see where I'm going with this? And they looking at you, a lot of you not, the non-white community, as a liability right about now. Yeah. Because people don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah, like they don't want to do it. And they already kind of racist and they already and they don't have no compassion and love. That's that's a recipe for you going to a facility. I'm telling you, that's a risk. They halfway racist. That's a, that's a reason. You're giving them a reason to practice racist <laughs> pr- actions and practices. Put you right in the camp of a vaccine, a vaccination, vaccination camp. And you ain't going to know if it's racism or not, because at the end of the day, what are they going to do with you? You're a liability. COVID is 200 percent in the community. I'm just showing you where this possibly could go. 200% in the community, what are they going to do with you? And they're halfway racist. They can say, shoot, we're going to put them in the camp. They're killing each other anyway. We need to change this community anyway. This is an opportunity to change this community anyway. 
We don't want nobody that can't submit to common sense and go by our rules. So what are they going to do with you? Put you in a camp, buddy. I'm tell- It ain't going to always be the same. So you think we're going to always dance the same dance, the same dance we dance. And you think this going to, we're going to get new leaders and all that. Joe Biden ain't going to be in there forever. We about to get new leaders and all of that and everything. We ain't going to be dancing the same dance. You're going to be dancing a new dance every administration, every four years. You're going to be doing the cha-cha. You're going to be doing all that. The mashed potatoes. You're going to be dancing all them dances. You're going to be break dancing. You're going to be doing it all. You're going to be dancing a new dance every administration, buddy. I'm telling you, this is where this is going. So I hope you're ready because you, you latch right now. You good, you got Joe Biden right now. You, you hey, don't take it for granted. Because I will say this, he's kind of easy going, kind of laid back. He right, he's not really strong arming you on certain things. These other guys that's coming in there, the Republicans, they ain't trying to get none of that. They ain't trying to kick because all they looking at is cleaning up this community, which is right. You can't, that's the tricky part about it. How you gonna argue with it? They trying to clean up this community. They ain't trying to hear nothing on no anti-vax community. And then, it, But then the tricky part is you got the racist people that will use this to clean up this community and change the community and hurt your community. Even that too. This COVID is also an opportunity to hurt innocent people. You got you to gotta be careful. Think about it. It is. It's, it's also an opportunity to change this whole country and the environment and everything. They can put you in camps. They can do all kinds of stuff with this. They can maneuver this to change the geographics of America. You better pay attention because, like I said, you're going to be dancing a new dance every administration. You're going to be dancing the cha-cha, the mashed potatoes. You're going to know all that. I'm telling you. This is where this is going. So all these gang starters, they they about to be blowed out the water. All that stuff they doing right there? I get that. I get that max five more years. That That's going to be done. Because there ain't going to be no room for it. They ain't going to be able to even do it. Their community is going to be suffering. COVID is 200%. It's going to be a lost cause. There's no entertainment. There's no nothing. Violence everywhere. That I give that five, I give gang stalking five more years. For all you people that's really going through it, don't worry about it. If the world, if if if, if the world will be in existence in five in existence in five more years, I give it five more years. After five more years, that's done because of the environment. COVID everywhere, crazy killing and everything. People, like I tell people, it's killing everywhere. It's crazy killing everywhere. It is no vaccination for that. So even if we get the vaccination, do you realize, listen to my words, do you realize how much crazier the people have gotten since COVID? We have literally went into another decade. You kind of forgot that we're in a new decade. 2020 was the beginning of a new decade. That was the beginning of a new decade. And in this new decade, every decade is different. Now, in, in the 2020 decade, the new roaring 20s, we're in the new Roaring Twenties. It's been a hundred years since the nineteen Roaring Twenties. This is the second Roaring Twenties, and it's roaring, buddy. People are, are killing. They're crazy. They're more crazy than before COVID. Like all kind of stuff, pushing people in front of trains, slashing people, shooting people. All kind of crazy stuff. I, it's been going on, but it's more outlandish now. It's more. It's more berserk. 
You know, it's is and, and and there's no vaccination for that. So even if they do get people vaccinated, what they gonna do about all these crazy people? All these crazy people. That's what I'm telling you. You see where we're going? And that's going to cause martial law. All that stuff that they're doing out there, all that gang stalking. Yeah, by the way, when that gets out of control, I think a lot of that, basically the overall, all the craziness of the community, spiritually speaking, because see, we forget about that. The spiritual repercussions is going to be total control. Oh, yeah, that's what's going on. God is about control. Not only the government, God is. Yeah, you forgot about that, didn't you? Boom. So all that stuff you're doing out there, God is going to say, eventually these people got to get off the street. Curfews, all that, it has to happen because you're doing too much gang stalking. You're doing too much playing with the community and the spiritual repercussions are going to be total control. And that's when the community is going to resist and then you might have anarchy as a result. Just lawlessness. Chaos. I would say chaos more than anything. Because the spiritual repercussions for out of control is what? The, the opposite. Whatever you do, when, when it's evil, so... If you do, you have chaos. God comes in. It's so much happens. Things happen in a way where evil is arrested. Oh, God got a way of arresting you, buddy. Uh huh. Oh, you didn't think it was gonna happen like that. And and, and all these boulevards and all that little cute stuff you're doing out there. All that little gang stalking cute stuff you're doing, they're gonna have you all off the streets. All off the streets. And, and look, hey, you caused it on yourself. And the first thing you wanna say is dictator. No, God is about order. God is about order. If you don't have any order, people will kill, steal, rape, and everything else. If there was no police, if, if they announced on CNN, there is no more law. You Boy, you better get go get a gun. And you better be mobile and you, you better keep it moving. You can't even stay still. If they told you there was no law, it would be total chaos. Everybody's robbing stores, going and doing everywhere, going to liquor store, just kicking in the doors, taking the liquor and everything. Who's going to stop them? The only reason you have peace in your homes right now is because there is law and order. You, you don't think so, do you? Okay. You think people just like to this? You, you live in a peaceful world where it's just all good, huh? Man, the only reason you have peace right now is because people scared to get locked up, man. Even thuggish people will tell you that. Can't wait till the law end, man. I'm popping some of these... I'm just being honest with you. The, a lot of thugs is waiting. They they waiting, especially for the gang, because they've been gang stalked. If it's thugs been gang stalked, they waiting for the law to end so they can start popping off these people out here gang stalking. I'm, they go start. They go just be shooting cars going by. Hey, it, it's probably you. Just let off shots towards the cars going by. I'm telling you, man. The only reason is peace right now is because there's law and order. And I'm not necessarily saying police, laws, it, they can't be broken. That brings about order. You have to have it in, the, in any community. Because if you don't, people go, if there was no, like I said, if there was no law right now, they just said, no law. You know what people going to do? Man, they going outside. They going outside and, and doing whatever they want to do. It's people that's waiting for that kind of stuff. <laughs> for real. It's people that's waiting for it. And when it happens, 
they going outside, they raping, stealing, and killing. Yo, if there was no law, all fam family, whole families would be raped, including the man. Everybody raped. Rape, go in the house and rape the whole family. That includes men, women, and children. Hey, I'm telling you the truth. That's the only reason it hasn't. That's what you're fit. You res, that's what's resisting the laws are are causing that evil. It, it, it uh, is 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 only only thing that's holding back is the resistance to that evil. That's the only thing. You take that for granted. Evil is being held back by law and order. That's real. You got a good mind. You, your family may have a good mind, but there's some crazy people you have not seen. And, 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 if, if, and if it was no law and order, they would do any and everything. They will come out of the dark and do any and everything to you and anyone else. Rape the whole family. Yeah, that's see, that's my perspective. See, I'm way ahead of y'all. That, that, I don't know where you at. I'm. We're living in the world. We're living in America right now where a million people are dead in this country alone. A million. You don't know what's going to happen. All you can predict, all you can assume as a, a competent minded human being is that this is only going to get worse. That's because you have an anti-vax community. That's the resistance. So what's going to happen with people that don't get vaccinated? They're going to get COVID and they're going to spread COVID. So that equates it getting worse. And 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 it's not and that's almost hopeless. Those people are not going to get vaccinated. You don't realize that, do you? They're they're willing to die unvaccinated. <laughs> I heard people say it. That's what I'm telling you, man. I mean, you know, we you, you I, I that's why I love being a realist because being a realist. You put things in proper, realistic perspective, not ideals of what you want it to be. You're able to deal with reality on reality's basis, on reality basis. You're able to deal with reality as it comes, not as you want it to come. In other words, hope for the best, but expect the worst. <laughs> Cause if you just you just you just live in this this fantasy world, like, oh, it's all gonna work out. Has it been working out? You got all these strains. The strains are constantly coming every five to six months. Has it been working out? And besides that. Look how crazy these people are. Is that working out? That can cause martial law, how crazy they are. That alone. That alone, COVID. That's all, that's what I'm trying to show you and tell you. Like, 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 God is the only, only hope, man. God, that's, and that's how it should be. And 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 it's it's working to what God get the praise, just like He should. In the end, God gets the praise because ain't none this whole system and all this stuff that you got you got around you. This is not working out like you think it's gonna work out. And the only way out is God, man. I'm telling you, it's the only way out because in all in all, this country has been doing so much wrong, it can't even safeguard itself from evil. How are you going to safeguard yourself from evil and you doing evil? 40 states is having sex with children. You know, 
20 states allows you to marry them with no minimum age, and 44 states allows child marriage. How can you how can you have any good on a foundation like that? That's a bad foundation. So when you have evil come, you have it, you can't resist it. It's everywhere. That's my personal opinion. You, it, it, it's spiritual laws that we all have to obey. I tell the president that to, affect, to any president, there are spiritual laws in the spiritual world that affects the earth and the world and, and that we know that that you have to respect. You have to respect spiritual laws. That's the spiritual laws are for the protection of humanity. Because if there was no spiritual laws, just like back to law, everything would happen. So there has to be spiritual laws in place to wash away the evil when man doesn't do it for whatever reason. Like right now, we can't depend on our government to wash away the evil. So what happens? The spiritual laws wash away the evil. And you have to respect those spiritual laws or you will be washed away with the evil. Make sense? Just like you have natural laws, they're there so that you and your family would not be raped. That's probably the first thing that happened to you. Then you would die. The, The physical laws, the natural laws are there so that won't happen to you. The spiritual laws are there as well that God has set up so that evil would not reign and rule just like in the natural world. If if there was no spiritual laws, evil, Satan, yeah, Satan and his kingdom would rule, would tear you to pieces. (laughs) You don't think so, huh? The only thing holding Satan back is spiritual laws, buddy. And when you disrespect God and his people, God pulls back. God allows Satan to do whatever you want to do. I'm telling you how it goes. That's why you got evil everywhere. Why should God hold back Satan? You halfway love him. You halfway like him. You think it's cool to serve him. Okay. I allow you to see what it's really like. What it's really like to have Satan ruling and reigning over you. You ain't going to like it. I promise you that. It won't be a party. I promise you that. Do all this craziness out here look like a party to you? This is a result of what I believe is evil ruling and reigning because of evil that has already been done, specifically against God's kingdom, And now evil is being washed away through COVID. COVID COVID is washing the evil away. You don't see it that way, but it is. It is. It's washing the evil away. And God is warning people. He's warning you. He's warning you. And that's why it's not just totally washing you away. But there has to be spiritual laws with all these gang stalkers. And that's why I believe there are uh, this, this the repercussions for all this gang stalker. God had to do something about that. And COVID-19 came in and it's washing away the evil. That's how you know spiritual laws are real. You can't just do anything and everything. We can't allow chaos. That's chaos. Gang stalking is a form of chaos to me and to the people that it happens to. That's a form of chaos. That ain't order. So the opposite of order is chaos. And and, and ain't nobody doing nothing about it because it's a white organization or it has a white origins and it comes from white culture. Like I said, I bet you no Black Panthers couldn't do no gang stalking. Not all around the country. Like they doing. 
And so God had to come, spiritual laws came into play. They kept playing games and, and the repercussions came back. And now the evil is being washed away. This gang stalking is being washed away in the form of COVID. I told you, you can't just do anything you want to do. I can show you the spiritual laws. I can show you the, why, why these things are happening. Not to mention also the laws that we passed in this country. You pass all these laws concerning the children that you know doesn't uh, reflect the values of Americans. No American agrees with children with children being sexed at all. There's no certain age. Anybody saying, well, that age is okay. <clears throat> Anybody out there saying that? A certain child age is okay. No certain child age is okay. Not 17 or 16 either. Because here's the, here's the thing. They're not financially responsible enough to handle all the outcomes that come with sex. So if they have a baby, they're not financially responsible. You got any 16-year-olds got 50K in the bank? Got any 17-year-olds got the average 17-year-old got 50K in the bank? Okay, then, so if you have a baby, where's the, where, where's the help going to come from? The government. They're going to go run into the government. So you So by law, you are creating your own liabilities. <laughs> and you can't sit here and say kids don't have... 16-year-old kids don't have babies. You can't say it. They made a whole show about it on MTV. 16 and pregnant. 16 and pregnant while the America is allowing 16-year-olds to have sex and get pregnant. By law, America said that they're allowing 16-year-olds to get pregnant. You letting them have sex with adults? What, what do you think is going to happen? The age of consent is, is 16 all around the country. In a lot of cities. And what happens? The parents wind up taking, the grandparents wind up taking care of the kids and, and the government winds up shelling out money. Money I know you don't want to shell out. And so you're creating your own liabilities. On top of that, not only are the children un, uh, financially un, uh, not responsible enough financially, but you're also creating liabilities for the government. You're creating liabilities for the government. So when you pass these kind of laws of children having sex, no minimum age for marriage, and some, and so, you know, I had one guy, he thought he had me, or he, he you know, some guys, they, 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 you have patriots without a cause that you run into when you start talking like this. Just ignorant patriots. You don't even know why you're a patriot anymore. You can't, can you give me a real reason why you're a patriot of America? I mean, real reasons. Right now. I'm not talking about in the 80s. I'm talking about now. You can't give me no reasons, can you? So he goes, well... Well, you're, you're misrepresenting the truth, the facts. And this is what he said, according to what I was talking, like, talking about uh, no minimum age. He, was, he goes, well, um, well, they, they can get married with uh, parents' consent, and it's really rare. How does he know it's rare? How does he know? He seen any polls and pie graphs? Uh, uh, he seen any pie graphs, ratios and percentages? Did he go see, is he going down to the places where people get married and see? So how do he know it's rare? Because if you don't think Americans are taking advantage of these laws, you're in a dream world. If they get, if pedophiles are getting caught having sex with children, if they're getting caught breaking the law, you don't think, they, you don't think it's pedophiles taking advantage of these laws? If they're breaking the law and getting caught and arrested, you don't think they're doing you don't think it's some of them that's doing this by law? Man, come on, man. That's common sense, man. 
they're passing laws and they're using them. And, and, and I'm just going to break it on down. The definition of a pedophile is someone that is an adult that has sexual desire for children. It didn't say a certain age. It didn't say toddlers. It said children, people, human beings that are child and childlike. 16-year-olds are still childlike. 17-year-olds are still childlike. No minimum age for marriage is childlike situations. You're dealing with people marrying childlike humans. And that is the definition of pedophilia. Bottom line. Whether you think whatever you think it is, because I know a lot of you think, well, that's you think it's cute, this little 16 to 17 year old age of consent. No, those are children. Physically speaking, they're children. Their bodies are not even totally developed. When you are an adult, your body is totally developed. 16 to 17, their penises and vaginas are still growing. It's not even fully developed. They, they don't have fully developed breasts. They're, in other words, their breast, penises, and vaginas are not in full bloom at 16 and 17. We all agree on that, right? So it's not fully developed. So you got America allowing the age of consent to be under 18 with undeveloped bodies in 40 states. So how can you expect good to come from that when it does not reflect the values of the American community? Any 